Before we start today's video, just a reminder, if you're looking to buy the game, there is a link in the description below that will take you to that. Also in the description, we've got a link to the Grey Dog Software forums, to the Fancy Booker subreddit, and various other places that you can check out mods for the game, and of course other people's written and verbal content. There's a link there as well to the playlists of my other series. But with that being said, strap yourselves in. If you enjoy it, leave a like. If you haven't already, hit the sub button for these to drop in your inbox. And let's start today's video. Which is a watch your series game. So we have opted this time to go with 1991 Peaking Tides from Looking Lead Better, which has been a conversion of Just X Yanks Rising Storms mod from 2016. And this was one I was curious because um it's an interesting time period, obviously the whole thing when Ric Flair made his move, but uh, it's just yielded so many mad results, this. And, like, even after two years, I'm already like, wow, this is crazy. So there's a few things I'll show uh, in a particular order, uh, and then we'll just see how wild this has been. So, straight off the bat, we will go to the World Wrestling Federation, and we'll take a look at how their WrestleManias have went down. So obviously that's WrestleMania 9. But if we want that, we'll need to jump here. But we can see WWF and WCW lead the way with New Japan and the UWF following. But for the WWF, we'll quickly have a look at show history and 1991. So the first WrestleMania, I need to try and find it. Where are we? The Royal Rumble was there. WrestleMania 7. So 60,000 people were in attendance. Um, we'll just go through some of the major matches there to speed up a little bit with the Ultimate Warrior retain the WWF Championship against Sergeant Slaughter with the Million Dollar Man defeat Randy Savage Mr. Perfect and uh, sorry defeated Jake Roberts in a cage match to retain the IC title Earthquake defeated Roddy Piper the Boss Man defeated Tito Santana by count out the Undertaker and Rick Martel defeated Texas Tornado and Jim Duggan by DQ. More on that later. And the Legion of Doom over Tugboat and Marty Jannetty. And Shawn Michaels teamed up with Dangerous by Design. And they defeated Jimmy Snooker and the Orient and Spritz. So that would be, I believe, Volkov and Atlas and Snooker with Paul Diamond and Tanaka. Which is, uh, yeah, very interesting indeed. Moving on to 92 in WrestleMania 8, if we can quickly find that. As I say, it's not the easiest to pop out, but there we go. The main event for this one, and they knocked out the park, we are sold out 65,000. Less people watching it in terms of buy rates, but the show rating is outstanding as well. Uh, Ultimate Warrior retained the championship again against Bret Hart. The Million Dollar Man submitted Randy Savage in a submissions match. And we had The Undertaker defeat The Genius in a DQ uh, by DQ, which would have been for the IC title. So, yeah, two wins at the WrestleMania for Undertaker by DQ, which is crazy. Well, it did happen once with jo uh, Giant Gonzalez. Hulk Hogan and Mr. Perfect defeated The Legion of Doom. And Ric Flair defeated The Texas Tornado in a strap match. Big Boss Man defeated Nikolai Volkov. And just to add in Haku and the Barbarian over Lost Cause for the World Tag Team Championship. Lost Cause being Jim Duggan and Jake Roberts. On to 93, the WrestleMania that's just been, which will maybe open somebody's eyes of, of where certain people are, but Mr. Perfect defeated Bret Hart in a submissions match to retain the WWF heavyweight title. Randy Savage defeated Ric Flair in a cage match. Jim Duggan retained the championship of the IC belt over Butch Reed. Ultimate Warrior over Hercules. Filthy scum of Big Boss Man and Earthquake defeated Sergeant Slaughter and Jake Roberts in a tag team dog collar match. The Genius and Shawn Michaels defeated Marty Jannetty and Tugboat in a strap match as well. And we did Nasty Boys over the Pirates of Buddy Landell and Virgil to retain the WWF World Tag Team titles. If you do see a lot of stipulation matches, that is something to do with the mod in particular. Sometimes just import matches, a match file from another mod and it'll be absolutely fine, it should go to mostly single matches, but much bigger buy rate there. Um, yeah, they certainly just changed their deals up and they were fine. But watching that show, 
A few names missing, eh? I wonder who. Let's find out in a second. Stables. I'll have to, have to check this first. Filthy Scum. Butch Reed, Big Boss Man, and Earthquake. The Heenan family in 1993 was Bobby Heenan, Haku, and the Barbarian. The Pirates had Buddy Landell, Virgil, Bam Bam Bigelow, Jim Neidhart, and Nikolai Volkov. And the Swarm, Hawk, Animal, and Brett, the Hitman, Hart. WCW then. The Hulkster's there. So's Mark Callis. Undertaker's done already. Absolutely crazy that seeing those kind of guys in WCW. Um, in terms of size, they are 77, so they are already in the big. And then they'll be looking to try and expand to Canada and Mexico to get to large, but the war is truly on here, both with good financial muscle, and if we look how their title pictures looking, Mark Callis is the NWA US, US tag team is with Master Blaster Blade and Steel, the world tag titles with Sid Vicious and Dan Spivey, the world tag team, uh, world television sorry, with Jimmy Garvin and the WCW heavyweight champion Rick Martel. Interesting. That's your main man. Really interesting. How bad's your factions? That's what I'm worried about. The Plague. Lex Luger, Bob Eaton, Kevin Sullivan, The Juicer and Teddy Long. The Vandals was formed in 1992 with Martel, Dustin Rhodes, El Gigante, Halle Race and Jimmy Garvin. And the York Foundation, Alexandra York leading the charge with Michael Wall Street and Big Cat. So that was in it for the start. Uh, so that continues. In terms of their events, obviously their marquee ones, obviously Starcade, so that hasn't changed. So we'll have a look at the history of Starcade, just the two of them, of course. Uh, if we can find show history, 1992, it'll be one of the last ones. So Piper defeats Rick Martell to retain the title, so Martell's won it since. You had Undertaker versus Barry Windham, Sting versus Lex Luger, Big Van Vader versus Ron Simmons. Pullman and Tom Zenk against the Steiner brothers and Jimmy Garvin defeated Own Hearts. Own Heart to WCW as well is quite crazy. And if we move it to 91, we'll see it's Starcade 91. Ricky Morton defeated Barry Windham to win the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. Lex Luger vs Van Vader. Sting vs Jimmy Garvin. Stan Hansen vs Kevin Sullivan. Bob Eaton vs The Junkyard Dog. And Juicer and Doom against Tommy Rich and the Steiner brothers. So some interesting movement of where people are this period of time. And especially with them getting the likes of Hulk Hogan and the Undertaker character being gone for Mark Callius. I'm really intrigued to see how this game world progresses and it's one I'm looking to get to 95, possibly even 97 over time. So I just want to quickly Check one last thing before we go. Let's see if New Japan's getting anybody big from the States over. So still got a deal in there with Vader, but it is mostly Japanese talent that is over there. And the UWF, is that still... Yep, Herb's still going with the UWF at this point. There's a very interesting name, Dr. Death Steve Williams in there. Alongside Andre the Giant. What else have we got in there? Bruno, Kevin, Hector Guerrero, Michael Hayes is over there, Big Scott Hall. Well, some interesting names in there, and it'll be interesting to see with three million in the bank if they carry on going, or if they lose people because that uh, fall into small size makes you think, well, you've got the money, but you don't particularly have overness in there. I don't know if they're in a shock phase or not, but 59 pop in their home region of the southwest, so they're just dropped from medium. They might get it back, they might not, but we'll keep an eye on that in the next two years. So. There's a couple of saves that, as I say, I don't know when they'll go in order, but they will be looking to do a good couple of years in this one, and the same with the Death of the Territories. There's a few other present day mods that I'll be doing that kind of stuff with as well, uh, over the course of the time. Because when I'm racing, my PC is free to simulate. So, as always, let me know what you thought, um, if you think there was anything strange, if you are doing a peak and tide save, is everything went in the same kind of way? And, of course, let me know if there's any mods, just recommend them, I'll try and find them in the forums or TWDB and I'll, I'll make sure I can get a wee sim of them and get a video done to have a reflection. 
at one point, but cheers for watching, take it easy, and I'll see you all real soon for another video. Bye-bye.